Well, it's day 32, and we're in the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 1 through 8. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If, bum, 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 if you remain in me and I in you... You will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If, bum, 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 if you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into fire, and burned. If, bum, 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 if you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Our Devo today is from George and Liz Palencia. How hard is it to remain in something, right? If we think it is diet, in an exercise routine or in a habit, we are very excited to start something like this, but many times we find it difficult to maintain what we started. As a human being, it is so easy to be in self-sufficient in a competitive and individualist society where titles, job position, bank accounts, property, etc. give us certain stability and security. The Bible teaches us an important truth about our relationship with God. Apart from Him, we can do nothing. The key to effective Christian living and powerful, fruit-producing lives is abiding in Christ. Simple truth. In a way like a branch is attached to a vine and depends on it for life, we depend on God. Our role as a branch is to experience the rich blessing of being under the Father's cultivating love and care. He wants the absolute best for our lives. And as part of His care for us, the Father prunes us. We are pruned so that we might bear more fruit. How can we remain in Christ daily? As the Apostle Paul shows us in Romans 6, we need four words to stay attached to the vine in our Christian lives. <clears throat> the four words are know. Know Jesus more through the Bible. Remain. Remember that Jesus did this for us. Yield. Show Jesus through your life, fruit, in the Spirit. And obey a life that pleases God. These words are so important in our daily lives to stay close to God by faith. Remember that Jesus is making you into something more like him, something beautiful and better than what you already are. This is a fantastic passage. The the all of the ifs. If this this happens, if this this happens. It's the you've got two options. Which do you want? Which do you want? Which should remind us of the today I set before you blessings and curses. So choose life that you might live. I mean, it's got that kind of flavor to it. If you remain in me, you're like a branch. Or say, if you do not remain in me, you're like a branch that's thrown away. If you remain in me, you will remain in my words. So we've, we've got the two choices. The weird thing, though... The weird thing, though, we might want to focus more on the branches that are getting cut off because they're not doing anything, because they're not really in Christ. 
And we forget that even if we're doing the things that we are supposed to do, if we are bearing fruit, we still get pruned. I, I, I have this problem with some of my um, plants. I'm afraid to prune them. I'm afraid I'm going to kill them by pruning too much, by pruning the wrong thing. And you know what? I think we do the same things in our lives at times. Sometimes we don't want to prune too much. We want to hang on to some things. We're afraid of what it'll do to us if we prune too much. But let the Father do that. He's the master gardener. He knows what in your life needs pruned. He knows where you're going to bear fruit. So let that happen. Let him take control. Give it over to him. And produce fruit in keeping with who he has made you to be.